another one too. We have a special guest here, the former governor, uh, governor of New York State, the Empire State, Governor George Pataki. Please come up. So you all enjoying the, the Go Green Expo here in LA? Yeah. It's just tremendous and I'm honored to be a part of it, and particularly standing here in this Earth Dome. It is just terrific. And Michael, I'm very excited about this. And we hope with Perf Go Green to take this around the country with this message, a message that you all believe in, but we have to convince the rest of the country and the rest of the world to understand as well. Now I had the tremendous honor of being governor of New York State for 12 years up until two years ago. I just want to tell you one story. I believed from the beginning it was important for the state to provide real leadership on the environment. And people were saying, well, the economy is hurting. Not quite as bad as today. But they were saying, well, we don't want you to choose the environment over the economy. And I said, I'm not. When you invest in the environment, you help the economy. When you do things sustainably, you build for the next generation, and you create a better, more prosperous society. And I'll never forget, <laughs> and I'll never forget my second year as governor, I proposed a $2.5 billion environmental bond act. At the time, the state was broke. And I was going around the state campaigning for it, trying to convince people, and I was up in the Adirondack Mountains in northern New York, where the economy was in a complete shambles. And I go there and I have pickets protesting the Environmental Bond Act in Maine. And I went over and I talked to them. And they said, well, we're, our kids can't get jobs. We have no economic future. Our communities are falling apart. And you want to borrow money to invest in the environment. It makes no sense. And I said, trust me, they didn't, they voted no anyway, but trust me, and we are going to show you that when you invest in the environment, you help the economy. Well, they voted no. We passed the Environmental Bond Act, and I went back there three or four years later when their economy was booming, when ecotourism had grown, when people wanted to visit the Adirondacks and live in the Adirondacks and engage in sustainable forestry, and they all came out and said, forgive us, you were right. Well, all of us are right, that when you invest in the environment, when you think about the environment, when you commit to the environment, you enhance the long-term economic prospects of the country. And you know, yes, government has an important role to play, and we have to push government to make sure they have the right standards and the right incentives to encourage green business and green industry and green living. But ultimately, it's going to come from us. It's going to come from the people, which is why Perf Go Green is out here with this show. Because it's going to be you, the consumers, the small businesses, the startup entrepreneurs, the people with a vision and a dream as to how we can change the world for the better, and maybe in the process make a little bit of money too. Uh, let me give you a hint. It's not going to come from the global giants. It's not going to come from the big companies. It's going to come from the people you see here at expos like this and at companies like Perf Go Green. And the concept and the putting to market of a green garbage bag that takes plastic that's polluting our world, recycles it, and uses it in the manner where in two years it's gone, it didn't come from the hefties or the glads. It came from Perf Go Green. And, and, and that's why. You know, I've been very selective since I went into the private sector as to what I do in the private sector because I did spend more than two decades trying to make our environment a better place. But when I heard about Tony and I met Michael, who I already knew, and I saw Linda and I saw what Terry had put together, I said, this is a team I want to be a part of. Because, you know, we're not going to change the world by ourselves. No company, no person's going to change the world by themselves. But little by little, we're going to change it. And having garbage bags that become something that is an enhancement to a landfill instead of the degradation that lasts for 800 years is one of those important small steps. So I hope you all enjoy the show, which I'm sure will be magnificent. I hope you all don't just come here and leave. But tell your friends and family and neighbors, not just to think green, but when they go to the store to buy green and to live green. 
And in doing that, we're going to make our country, our families, our globe, like this Global Dome, a little bit better place for the next generation. Thank you. It's a great being here. Go get them.